Getu firefighters from North Carolina have rushed to Hawaii. A total of 10 team members from across the U.S. state have flown into Hawaii to help assist as the Kilauea eruption continues to cause danger. The team, made up of a state emergency manager and nine county and local emergency managers and fire officials, will work from an emergency operations center in Hilo, on the Big Island of Hawaii. The team will be running logistical support and resource planning. They will also be handling issues such as evacuations, setting up shelters, road closures, and detours. Jordan Rink, one of the 10 team members said, We are very familiar with hurricanes and flooding and the wildfires and tornadoes and the natural hazards that we prepare for and respond to around here. So the initial question was, what do you do for the volcanic activity and lava flows and fissures? Mr. Rink said the team did a lot of research at short notice to prepare for the job at hand. The firefighter continued, while it's a completely different hazard that we are facing, a lot of the response activities are very similar to what we experience. Mr. Rink and the team will return to North Carolina on June 2nd. Team members from agencies in Bladen, Gates, Lee, McDowell, Moore, and Onslow counties as well as fire departments in Cary, Charlotte, and Greensboro arrived in Hawaii on Saturday. They will assist local emergency services for two weeks before returning home. Conditions in Hawaii have continued to worsen since the Kilauea volcano began erupting earlier this month. The Hive team will be running logistical support and resource planning. A total of 2,000 people have been forced to evacuate, homes have been destroyed, and now lava is cutting across the highway, pouring into the ocean sending up plumes of toxic chemicals. Carolyn Perchita, operational geologist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said flows of molten rock are traveling at around 400 yards per hour, twice as fast as earlier streams. Dr. Jessica Johnson, a volcanologist, explained how the very toxic reaction takes place during the Hawaii volcano eruption. She said, Laze is a mashup of the two words lava and haze, so it is like smog which is smoke and fog. Getu firefighters will work from an emergency operations center in Hilo, on the big island of Hawaii. Laze is created through a chemical reaction when lava meets the ocean so because the ocean is salt water there is a chemical reaction and Hydrochloric acid is created, there can be some small explosions which push tiny droplets of hydrochloric acid into the air and it also makes tiny little fragments of volcanic glass which can be caught up in the hot temperatures. Laze is very toxic it can be very hot and it is very unpredictable so far as how much is produced and when it is produced.